Awesome. So, yeah. I always use one person's channel to promote another channel. You know, never not. Uh, so. Hey, welcome to another typology interview. We have Frank James. How's it going, Frank? I am doing fantastic. How are you doing? Fantastic. Um, I think there's two questions we need to get out of the right way before we start. So first okay. thing, what's, what's the deal with your hair journey and where is it going in the future? Uh, uh, you know, hair, it, when, so I had been growing it out before and once you start, you feel like, oh, I put so much time into this. It's a sunk cost fallacy, you know? And so now I quite like... It's a sunk cost fallacy. That's hilarious, actually. <laughs> Uh, I actually really enjoy watching Frank James. It's actually pretty fun. Um, so gotta love that sunk cost fallacy. Uh, but, uh, definitely, um, hoping just checking my frames again, guys, and then, uh, getting this back here, definitely responding. I mean, that's kind of obvious at this point. So yeah, Frank James responding for sure. And let's keep going from there. Like it's short. So I think I'm going to keep it short. I'm not growing the beard out at least until, you know, some major terrible life event happens. But <laughs> right. yeah, I think, yes. I think I'm settled. I'm not growing the beard out, at least until some kind of major life event happens of some kind. Okay. Well, I mean, from one introverted sensor to another, that kind of sounds like introverted sensing to me. So because like, I usually only shave if I have to for whatever reason. And he's basically basically saying, if I have to, I'll shave it, right? Whereas someone who's expert at sensing, you know, say an INFJ, INFJs are so like, like their physical appearance means like everything to them. So like they have to exert a lot of willpower to control like something like their facial hair. So, but instead of just being like, meh, I don't care. Who cares about my facial hair? So I'm gonna put down a point for introverted sensing, but hey, we might be wrong. Uh, let's keep going. For a while. All right, okay. Sorry about that one. Then the no, other I'm one glad, is- I'm glad to clear the air with it. All right, yeah. Then the other question we need to clear the air with is did you ever get used to using Go the new Google? Uh, um... uh, I did eventually. Yeah, I might have overreacted. <laughs> <laughs> might have, I don't know, yeah. but yeah. The, no, no, the was, I got it. It was a satire video, it was good, yeah. Yeah, well, thank you. The, yeah, the the, the Google, the Gmail redesign, I was so angry when I first saw it. But then, you know, you just, you just have to use it. There's no way around it. So yeah, right. I battled through. Yeah, cool, man. All right. So um, you, you haven't officially been typed uh, in OP, um, but like I'd like to talk about your type anyways, your and your channel and sort of maybe your history and typology and stuff. So yeah, yeah let's start there. Where, where did you start typology? When did you get into it? Uh, it was a couple, just a couple of years ago, and uh, some friends threw around. The, apart from me, my, some friends were talking about it. Somehow, I came up in the conversation, and they said, "We think you're this type." And I was like, "Okay, I don't care." And then, uh, <laughs> but it was like in the back of my mind still. I was like, "Huh? What? I wonder what this personality type stuff is all about." And uh, you know, just went to one of the online, the infamous online tests, and came up INFJ just like everyone else and uh, then when I asked my friends what type did you think I was they're like oh then I asked my friends I asked introverted sensing and then I asked my friends what type did you think I was well that's extroverted thinking right so because it's like what are they thinking and then he uses the reference points of the test you know all those online tests etc you know what does the test say and what does the test think what do these people think I am right well that's extroverted thinking also introverted sensing still responding gonna have to put a point down for control because like you know he's not like movement at all it's very very uh, process you can compare him to potentially INFPs or INTPs or even other control types seems very outcome focused you know in that regard not really process oriented but let's keep going because hashtag controversy oh INFJ so that that correlation I guess Right. Um, that was what made me think maybe there was something to it uh -huh. uh, be because I oh there is a correlation and that that my friends is what made me think that there might be something to it 
just you know pure correlation you know because correlation is not causation and yet ti users are so much more focused on the causation and not the correlation which is what te users do te expert thinking rational thinking it's about correlation not causation whereas ti users care about causation more so than correlation keep that in mind folks putting down another point for te tefi that what you know when I got the result online, it didn't really phase me much. I was like, okay, I guess it seems like me. So, uh, but then I just, I just started to get more into It didn't phase me that much. I guess it's just more like me. That's introverted sensing. Uh, he's only talking about himself. He's not talking about anyone else, right? More about his friends, right? To it, mostly through YouTube, I think, looking at other YouTubers uh, who talked about INFJ stuff, especially... Uh, Tom Davison was one of my favorites. And that kind of inspired me to want to do YouTube stuff in a similar vein. And just through that, like. That inspired me to do YouTube stuff in a similar vein because he's comparing, he's trying to mimic. Mimicry is S-I-N-E. The comparison itself is T-E-F-I. Obviously, we have ourselves an aristocrat. Aristocrat equals uh, STJ plus NFP quadra for Mr. Frank James. Like just doing YouTube about that sort of like led me into learning more about it. So you can tell. Doing YouTube about that certainly led me into doing more about that. Again, more introverted sensing, more introverted sensing. There's no extroverted sensing here. Oh, when you watch my earliest videos, it's kind of iffy like what what I'm talking about but um, then around a little over a year ago that's when I stumbled on Dave Superpowers channel and a little over a year ago that's when I stumbled upon Dave Superpowers channel okay so now he's starting to talk to somebody else but it's his own experience it's also introverted sensing okay fair enough still control and he's talking about stories informative stories he's not being direct He's not being commanding. He's just telling us a story from his introverted sensing long-term memory, just telling us a story because he's being informative. Informative responding control, okay. And got heavily into that and then eventually started taking the objective personality classes and so now I'm... And then I got into that. And then I got into Dave's superpowers because he's an authority on the subject. And then I started taking classes on it because those are authority subjects because I am an extroverted thinker and care about authorities on subjects, not actually what I personally think. It's what everyone else thinks. So as a result, CSJ has no choice but to add another point for extroverted thinking. Let's continue. I'm fully initiated and I did <laughs> Once it, get, once it gets in your mind. I am fully initiated. You know how people, you know, when they go to the Blue Lodge and they're becoming Masons and they are initiated into Masonry and the, within the Masonic uh, way of doing things, they go through an initiation process. And he's like, I am fully initiated after getting all of that education, right? Which basically means he's reached a level of achievement. Is it possible, you know, since this guy claims that he's an INFJ, let's be straight, since he claims he's an INFJ, is it really, really possible for an NFJ who has TE Trickster and TE Demon who kind of don't really care about achievement that much, why is he who claims to be an INFJ actually like, you know, talking about achievement, which is extroverted thinking? Has, has anyone thought about these things? Could, could someone please think about these things, please, TE Critic? wants to know another point for TE. Let's continue. And you can't stop thinking about typology, so. You can't stop thinking about typology. Gosh, more extroverted thinking again. Oh man. Right, yeah. So I'm, I'm lost, I'm, <laughs> you know. Yeah, so like, what was the idea behind your YouTube channel? Just, uh, just getting out uh, INFJ stuff or? Yeah, at Talking first. Middle? Well, I mean, yeah, if you kind of look at it, at first it was sort of just like more uh, straight up vlog type stuff, just talking about stuff that was going on in my life. and Stuff that was going on in my life. Oh, we're not going to be doing current events, you know, kind of like what Joe Rogan does, talking about like interviewing people that's 
related to like the current happenings about what's happening outside of me. No, 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 no. I'm going to be making a channel to talk about the contents or concepts of my own life, my own life experience. Gosh, I guess that means CSJ has to put down another point for, you guessed it, introverted sensing. Gosh, why? Well, introverted sensing. Do I need to keep driving this point home? You know what? I think I actually do. You know, trying to connect it to typology in a way. Um, I'm going to try to connect it to my life, my life experience to pi typology in a way. Hmm. Wait a minute. That sounds like extroverted thinking and extroverted intuition. Extroverted intuition making all these connections to all these extroverted thinking uh, uh, reference points. Wait a minute. Oh, that would basically mean introverted sensing again and extroverted thinking again. Okay, fair enough. Let's keep I going. It, I don't know because it's at that time not knowing that much about it, I was resonating with what other YouTubers were doing in that vein. I was resonating with what other YouTubers were doing in that vein. More expert thinking. I mean, hey, because everyone else was doing it, I'm going to do it too. I mean, wait a minute. Okay, so you're telling me an INFJ, Jesus Christ, you know, he just decided to start telling the truth and then he got murdered for it, you know, and, and but I think he would have been really safe if he have just played it safe, you know what I'm saying, and did what everybody else was doing, right? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, fair enough. We're going we're gonna to put that down for extroverted thinking again. And I thought uh, if I could somehow connect it to a broader thing, because I, there's not much point, I think, in making vlogs about what's going on in your life or how you feel, because why, why would anyone care? But if you can connect it to a bigger thing, I was like, ah, people might... Oh, why would anyone care about my own personal life experience? But if I connect it to this bigger thing, okay... Okay, fair enough. Why would people care? Effie Nemesis. Okay, uh, you know. Oh, but if I connected to this bigger thing that everyone regards, you know, extroverted thinking, they might care about my life experience, and that's what they would want with my NE. Okay, fair enough. Guys, I think I've just driven the point home. That guy is STJ NFP Quadra. Would people please realize that this is the case? Come on. I mean, like, seriously. And, you know, abstract, LOL, you know, and uh, what are people getting out of it? Well, let's keep going. I want every single point on our matrix, like, absolutely fleshed out, if you know what I'm saying. Relate to this if they, yeah. you know, if maybe everyone else is going through the same thing. Right. And that's where it went from there. And then I started to, once I started to learn more about typology, then I was like, I should probably start teaching this as well. It's just like a natural. I should probably start teaching this as well. I mean, you probably should do your duty there, Mr. Introverted Sensing. I probably should, okay? You know, I guess I guess your ESTJ professor subconscious Girl is coming out there. Thing to want to make videos that were more... Let's skip ahead. There's some we're skip connection ahead. with it, and everything is, has the same sort of basis to it? Yeah, I guess, well, now that you bring that up, I will say that I've always had this... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Maybe this tendency or this drive to bring everything into like one unifying concept right and like everything about life right at, or at least as as few concepts as possible and to be like as few concepts as possible very abstract good sir very very abstract thank you thank you for that as you continue to be informative and continue to be responding and not initiating any points whatsoever. Like, oh, everything revolves around this one thing. Yeah. So, yeah, so that, that is also kind of when I can catch it, is when I look back and I, I realize that it's always been, that's always been a thing with me, is one. It's always been a thing with me and my experience. Really get things down into the simplest to possible. Use the funnel, the simplest uh, abstract pattern, yeah. thing, uh, yeah. pattern, pattern, um, expert intuition. Um, Need I say you, more? Uh, my goodness. Expert intuition. Okay, yeah. Funnel, abstract. Yeah, okay. Well, fair enough. You know, that outcome, that outcome, that, that control based outcome. You know, we're not talking about the process here. We're just going to talk about specific outcomes. Okay. Do you also feel like uh, you're able to plan for the future a lot? Like, is that what you're spending most of your time doing as well? Thinking about what's going to be and 
Yeah, definitely. I'm always I I'm always thinking about the future, but I in some ways I feel like I don't know. I feel like everyone thinks about the future, but it's hard it's hard to know like what is normal, like what is oh, and then they don't... I feel like everyone thinks about the future, right? So what is normal? What is normal? says extroverted sensing trickster. What is normal? What is normal? Anything could be real. Anything could be normal. And E, guys, abstract AF. Come on, like, wow. I, like, wow. 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 Anything could be normal, you know? And it's my duty to do these things because I'm affiliative and trying to do the right thing, guys. Actually happened. Or are you hitting those milestones? Uh, they can be a bit nebulous sometimes, you know? They... They could be a bit nebulous sometimes, you know, those milestones, because I just got to be in my SI comfort zone because NI is all about what I want. So, you know, okay, you know, uh, thank you for all you people out there who think you're INFJs when you really are INFPs and you're just basing your identity based on this one popular YouTuber because you INFPs have this problem where it's like, well, you know, if there's an idea that's accepted by a group of people, they're more credible. Therefore, I am inclined to believe them more so than actually the person who's telling the truth. What? Oh, wait, that happens more often than you think. Hmm. And uh, so continues the cycle of ignorance, right? Oh, well. They can they can feel the the plans I often make are very uh, I don't know they're very specific and I see them but a lot of times it's bringing them into reality that can be a bit of a struggle. Bringing them into reality is a bit of a struggle. Of course, if you have extroverted sensing trickster, that would be a struggle. And because you don't really ever know what you want, you're just kind of going along with your comfort zone all day long. And you're not exactly planning out your day. It's all about loose plans. Wait a minute. Isn't an INFP a P-type? Loose plans? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, but he's obviously an INFJ, guys. Obviously. Or like dealing with the process like you have this one big goal out there and you're and you have to do all these little things up to it and that can often trip me up right so, okay yeah so i i like to live there in that place in the future in my brain but uh <laughs> actually doing the work to get there the the se day-to-day -day stuff yeah yeah Yep. Hopefully you don't have any more drop frames. Kind of freaking out about that. Please don't drop frames on me. But the bottom line is, folks, this man, Frank James, is an INFP. So, yeah, that's right. He's uh, an INFP. So there you go. Frank James is an INFP. Uh, I don't need to say any more. He's, he's a freaking INFP. He's an INFP. He's an INFP. And I end up having to correct so many INFPs who think they're INFJs because of him. It's all... Well, it's not all his fault, but it's mostly his fault. And that's why I created the lecture, How Do INFJs Compare to INFPs? Specifically to show why they're actually incorrect with identifying with the INFJ because they are not INFJs. Although before I realized I was an ENTP, I would have believed that people like Frank James were actually INFJs when the reality of the situation is they're not. So that's definitely the issue that we're facing. So, okay. Cool. Uh, I am definitely going to be closing uh, Super Chats right now. So we're closing that and uh, close.